Hi friends, welcome to my channel for your total healing. Now I'm going to tell you about nephritis, its acute and chronic stages. Nephritis means inflammation of the kidney which is caused by many things and is one of the most serious of renal disorders. Moreover, it is a non-specific term which points to a variety of causes. The onset or the beginning, development and termination are quite variable and differ from person to person depending on the status of the disease. The predisposing causes are first age and sex of the patient, second heredity, not always a necessary cause, third occupation of the person, fourth pregnancy and fifth infections of the heart and the elementary canal or the digestive system. The exciting causes are first toxins, second use of certain drugs that damage the normal functioning of kidneys, third foods either spoiled or poisonous, fourth infectious disorders, fifth traumatism, sixth degenerative changes, seventh use of potassium salts, cantharis, mercury, salicyclates, juniper and irritating drugs, eighth bed, effects of fever, Kalaza, malaria, typhoid, etc. Ninth, impaired functioning of excretory organs. And tenth, exposure to damp or cold conditions. Now about the symptoms. When you get this problem, nephritis, the symptoms will be fever in majority of the cases. First, second, pain and burning at the time of urination. Pain could be felt before, during and after passing water. Or it could be at one, two or all three stages. Fourth will be nausea and vomiting. Fifth, urine past is scanty, has pus, bloody, tinted or smoke colored. Sixth, pain and tenderness in the loins, mediate to groins, testicles and thighs. Seventh, pain in spinal region, 8th occasional suppression of urine, Ninth delirium and or coma and finally 10th even death may occur, 11th increase in blood pressure or hypertension, 12th gradual progression of toxemic states and 13th convulsions. Now about the treatment. About the treatment, I can tell you that the amount of recovery is not favorable and encouraging. If one kidney is affected, there is very much hope that the unaffected and healthy kidney will do the job of both the kidneys. But when both the kidneys are damaged with this disease, there is hardly any chance of survival. All said and done, effort should always be made to make the kidney from total time to avoid the kidney or save the kidney from total damage and also that the infection doesn't pass on to the healthy kidney who will be doing the work of both the kidneys when one kidney is damaged. As I said before, if both the kidneys are involved or are infected, there is hardly any chance of survival. Effort should always be made to save the kidney from total damage and also, again I say, the infection from not to pass on to the other healthy kidney. It is necessary to make sure the type and depth of infection and also whether it could be controlled by treatment and its normal or at least near normal function could be restored. Further, concomitant Complications should also be simultaneously treated like for example if the person is also having a high blood pressure problem that person should take the blood pressure tablets also along with this treatment should not neglect that uh, blood pressure medication so both should be taken together 
then to begin with the supportive steps to be taken the first one is paroxysmal pains that is a sudden reoccurrence of intense pains should be controlled by giving analgesics and antispasmodic drugs like spasmo proyvon i'll spell s p a s m o p r o y v o n one capsule 3 to 4 times daily or neo octinum n e o hyphen o c t i n u m one to two time two one to two tablets three to four times daily in severe pain tablet of trigan t r i g a n one or two tablets two to three times daily or an injection of the same trigan in case of acute pain second restore free flow of urine by giving one tablet of lasix l a s i x which may be repeated if necessary and third if oedema or swelling is present a single dose of lasix 20 to 80 mg should be given daily on alternate days if hypertension or high blood pressure persists one tablet once or once or twice daily may be given or till the blood pressure returns to normal but do not continue beyond that or don't take more than this what i have told and fourth alcasol or alcacitron a l k a c i t r o n one or two teaspoons three to four times daily now about the antibiotic treatment it is wiser to get urine tested for culture and sensitivity test so as to know which of the antibiotics will suit best generally following list of things which are very important now i'm going to tell you the medicines list which will suffice to cure the infection unless there is a specific reason to use only one drug norfloxacin n o r f r o x a c a n norfloxacin 400 mg capsules or tablets twice daily for 7 days at least but in chronic cases for 3 to 4 weeks if infection still persists and reveal by requisite urinary test when you do the test again to check if the infection is still there and you find that the uh, the infection is still there even if it is little you can even take the tablet for 12 weeks or in in place of norfloxacin 400 you can take nally disic acid 500 mg tablets n a l i d i x i c nally disic acid 500 mg tablets twice daily or s i told before starting or ordinary and uncomplicated nephritis may be easily controlled by a tablet of septran ds s c p t r a n d capital d capital s for 7 days twice daily for 5 to 7 days if not 7 days if it's less say 5 days 5 to 7 days and repeated immediately after 5 to 7 days after 5 to 7 days means you have to take a break or gap of 5 to 7 days best is take a gap of 7 days and then start again take 7 days then take 7 days break then again take for 7 days this is the best to remember and uh, please note that the earlier mentioned dose pertains to in case of adults but for children and pregnant ladies and even very weak aged persons please consult a doctor don't take this treatment at home
or don't give this treatment to them at home as their case is much delicate and a doctor has to handle it and also read carefully all the relevant papers literature given along with the medicines which i have mentioned also even if you are going to a doctor there also whatever medicines are given please read all the details of the medicines so that you know what are the precautions to be taken and everything dangers and all that in case of acute nephritis it should be handled by a doctor only and even slight delay may prove fatal to the patient that is why you have to go to a doctor even for normal adults if it is acute kidney function test kft urine test routine microscopic culture and sensitivity will determine the state at which the problem has reached coconut water aerated soda water plenty of plain water non irritating fruit juices which can facilitate free flow of urine but for rest of the complications medicines are needed so friends i hope you like this total explanation of mine about nephritis acute and chronic stages when it becomes acute only a doctor must handle chronic is the last so acute and chronic both a doctor must handle if you can detect it earlier you do it at home with this treatment which i have told and you will be totally all right for any disease friends you take earlier treatment as soon as you come to know that you are sick and you will recover faster if you wait like that only without taking treatment you will become severe and chronic and then it is really difficult to handle at home and a person can die also so the moment you come to know you are sick please start taking medicines at home and acute and chronic stage in here in this case please go to the doctor take care friends and lots of love to you all if you like this explanation of mine do visit my playlist and you'll find all the different treatments which i have mentioned there in aromatherapy allopathy ayurveda psychiatry beauty therapy naturopathy you will get all the treatments there different ways of medicines whatever i have studied i put up treatments there you can go and check and help yourself and do like to show me that you like this if you like my explanation and do subscribe to my channel to get notifications about my future videos and to encourage me to make more videos for you on healing bye till next time friends